सिद्धि विनायक गणपति गणेश भगवान की जय सब कोई जय सीताराम सो वंस अगेन इट्स अ ब्लेसड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू बी विथ यू ऑल इन गणेश उत्सव दिस सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ श्री गणेश जी दिस फेस्टिवल दैट इज वर्ल्ड ओवर Ganesh ji who is recognized not only amongst the Hindus and not only where Hindus and Indians are but worldwide he is adored in many cultures so it's a pleasure it is a blessing to join for the second night with you all and thank you as we prepare ourselves for our katha i invite you to glorify bhagwan ganesh every day o oh lord we prostrate ourselves before your lotus feet your feet are able to take away our suffering also to our viewers on sankhya tv all over the world special pranams and ganpati baba's blessings to you and sankhya tv and their crew at all times so nishadin night and day especially during these times of ganesh utsav we surrender ourselves to your feet take away and remove all our duk duk haran and replace it sukh karan and may goodness replace that which is not so good in our lives this is what we pray nishdin namo ganapati charan ganapati charan jag dukh haran ganapati charan jag dukh haran nish din namo ganapati charan din namo ganapati charan ganapati charan ganapati charan jag dukh haran nish din namo ganapati charan हर भाग 
गणेश भगवान की जय सो नाइट एंड डे स्पेशली एट दिस टाइम एज वी हैव दिस यूनिक अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर टेन डेज टू हैव ए मैनिफेस्ट इन दिस ब्यूटीफुल फॉर्म दिस मोस्ट ब्लेसड फॉर्म प्लीज मेक यूज ऑफ दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी इन योर ओन वे एज वी वर chatting last night i reminded all of us including myself that ganesh mantras are siddhi mantras each mantra contains certain specific powers of lord ganesh when chanted with the proper pranayam what is the proper breathing techniques and sincere devotion such job will bring its positive results for sure in general ganesh mantras will ward off all evil and bless the devotee with abundance prudence and success evil spirits dare not enter the home or the mind of the bhakta where ganesh mantras are recited such mantras are given many a times for spiritual development one important thing to remember though is before we sit to chant and do our job we must always take a bath and at least one mala we must recite and i'll tell you a little secret tonight if we are able 
to sit in a place at a particular time for 48 days straight and do a job like that for 48 days constantly one job a day Radhika, not 48 days all the day time one job a day 108 times a day for 48 days straight all you do is you maintain your fast you stay away from the things that are tamsic we know those things. And do that breath for 48 days. You will develop your own spiritual powers that are latent in you. Dormant in you. And when we are able to develop our own spiritual power, so many blessings, as I mentioned a little while, accrue to such a person. But it takes 48 days of discipline. And when you develop that power, now I, I can share this, all I say is a secret. I can share it freely because I know 99.99 of Human beings don't have that discipline. Because they forget to even chant their own Guru Mantra 108 times every day. In fact, when you go by some of them, chalas, and you ask them to chant their Guru Mantra, they say what? They forget it. So if the Guru Mantra, which is the key to your life, I know many of you wouldn't even end up here, but it's nice information, it'll be but when you develop that power, you don't need to place blind confidence and blind trust in others. Many a times mislead you. Many a times take advantage of you. In many forms, in the name of God. And in the name of spirituality. So to avoid that you must learn to develop your own a little. And of course always have trusted guides. Trusted gurus. Respected gurus. And of course knowledgeable gurus to guide you on that part. Because power also is a dangerous thing if is in the hand of the wrong person. So when you develop what is called the Siddhi, that is what is called Siddhi. That is the purpose why we pray, you know, to get that blessing to develop our own spiritual power. That is called the Siddhi. And that also, you know the little voice that speaks to us? Everyone knows that voice, right? All the time he's speaking. That little voice will be able to guide you even more clearly than it does. That is the intellect. Because through the Siddhi, you are burning away the negative vibrations and energies around you. And because of that, within you as well, you are burning the negativity. Because the things like anger, lust, greed, hatred, jealousy, and the worst of all, false pride. These things have to be burnt away if you really want to see your own Bhagwan in you, you know. If you want to be transformed from human to divine rather than from human to rakshas, decline. It's up to us. But when you get that clarity, it also is dangerous, you know. Because sometimes people start to get a little bit of that and they start to play God. Isn't that so? And sometimes some of them feel they're bigger than God as well. So be careful because that spiritual power, if we use it, for the wrong purposes. 
we get shrap from Ganapati himself for misuse of power. And anyone who has power and it is not deserving to be in that position to start with and misuse of power, if us as human beings can't deal with you because you're bigger than us, Ganpati Baba one day surely will deal with such persons. And that is the type of confidence we must have in our worship, my friends. So 48 days is all it takes for you to develop yourself in a significant way. Embrace the opportunity. So what are some of these mantras? First and foremost, Om Gam Ganapatye Namaha Bolo. Recite after me, Om Gam Ganapatye Namaha. This is a mantra from Ganpati Upanishad. One may always use it before beginning a journey, a new course in school, a new career or job, or before entering any new contract or business. So impediments are removed and your endeavor will be crowned with success. Om Gam Ganapatye Namaha. But for you to really make that mantra effective, you know what you have to do now, right? So when you do it 21 times, any time after that, you will be crowned with success. Because that is how to tune in into that frequency of success in the universe. Because mantras are vibrations. Everything here is energy really. There's nothing as matter in reality. Just energies. And everything operating on different frequencies. And different mantras also operate on certain frequencies that attract positive vibrations and repel negativity and attract certain vibrations of success as well. So this is the science of the mantras. So we mustn't use it loosely. We mustn't use it forcefully. We must use it lovingly and we must use it with conviction and also with the siddhi, with the power behind it. Because practice makes what? Perfect. That is why for the 48 days. Because every day you get better and better at recalling Ganpati Baba and also the vibration you are creating. We understand these things, right? If anyone has any, after the Katha, you can always consult. And ask a little question. So I'll share another mantra. You all know Om Gam Ganapatye Namaha. But what was the purpose? We just heard it. Another popular Ganesh mantra. As I said, all of these are Siddhi mantras. Right? Om Sri Ganeshai Namaha. Om Sri Ganeshai. Not Ganeshaye. Ganeshai. Namaha. This mantra is usually taught to children for their good education. It increases their memory power and they become successful in their examinations. Of course, people at any age may use this mantra. When taking courses in a school or university and for success in attaining their degrees. Om Sri Ganeshai Namaha. And then sometimes we find ourselves in difficulty, crisis times sometimes, right? Emergency. So I'll give you an emergency mantra. An emergency number to dial. 
to get help. Because we need that from time to time. Bolo Om Shipra Shipra Prasadai Namaha Om Shipra Prasadai Namaha One more time Om Shipra Prasadai Namaha this is a very powerful mantra which comes directly from the Ganesh Puran. When someone is or something is not working properly, individually, universally, universally, nationally, or internationally, or when the minds of people get curved and negative. This mantra is to straighten their ways, straighten them and bring them back on the line of positivity at any point in time, any situation, any crisis. Om Shipra Prasadai Namaha. There are, in fact, 32 million mantras like this of Lord Ganesh. How much? Somebody tell me. 32 million. These mantras are unending that praise Lord Ganesh. But just one, if you should take it up, will work for you out of these 32 million. And as we said, Om itself is Lord Ganesh. That vibration, that sound divided from Om, that is his power. That is, is his form as well. We must be able, as we say, meditate. Of course, we know we can't go to Swanandham, his look, physically. We don't have that type of vehicle yet. But we have a description of it. We know about in Swanandham, there's Chintamani Dweep, the money studded island, the gem studded island. And we know within that island, there's the Kalpadrum Upavan. The garden that is filled with all the wishy-ling trees. And we know there's the Parijat tree. And under the Parijat tree, there's the Mahapit, the great altar of Lord Ganesh. And it is decorated, the mandal is decorated with a lotus. Then a shut cone, a six-pointed star. Then a tree cone inside it which is a triangle and then a bindi and that is directly where his singhasan is that is his seat that is throne that is his energy that is his yantra so remember these things as we do our worship and how to really let these little mantras that we take for, you know, for granted sometimes, how it can work for us. Because that is what it is meant for, for it, for it to work for us. Siddhi Vinaya Ganapati Ganesh Bhagavan Ki Jai. We glorify Lord Shiva. We bring him because this is also a festival, right? And then we'll continue with our little gatha. Just as, Just he, visited as he visited Nandan Gokul in the form of a yogi. Because we don't know what form God will be in front of us. And sometimes he takes the forms that we despise, you know, to test us. 
And we turn up our nose and walk away and say all kind of things. But that was God in front of you. So he took the form of the jogi. And he showed him I was hesitating. Was hesitant. To allow him to have darshan of the little baby Lord Krishna. But Lord Krishna also knew it was Bholenath. And he began to make a, a stir. A tantrum. He, he threw a tantrum really. Until Yashodama had to bring out the baby for the yogi to see and bless. May Lord Shiva, as we celebrate the birth of another, his own baby. May he be here with us at this time and give us darshan and blessings in this bhajan. Uche Uche Mandir Tere Uche Tere Adwar Kaila Shavale Bhule Baba Ho Karte Tujhe Pranam Nagar Me Jogi Aya Anga vi bhoot gale rutmala sheshan agal patayo Pako tilak bhal chandrama ghar ghar al chitayo Pancha Veda Parikma Karke Swingi Naar Bajayo Sura Dasa Bali Hari Tanheya Jug Jug Jib Chedo Jayo Katha is taken from chapter 1 of the Nish Puran. 
In the ancient times, the kingdom of Saurashtra was ruled by a king and his name was Raja Sumkant. He was well versed in the Vedas and holy texts. He was practicing the Sanatan Dharma, the love of God. In intelligence, he was equal to Brihaspati, the guru of the Devtas. In wealth, he was equal to Kubir, the lord of wealth. In patience, he was like Mother Earth. And he was sublime like the ocean. He was radiant like the sun and cool like the moon. Beautiful like calm Dev, Cupid. And powerful like Agni, fire. That is the type of ruler at the time in Saurash. That is the type of king Sumkant was. In all the good qualities, he was the pinnacle of it. Because whatever we strive to engage in, we must always try to do it. How? We must always, in fact, do it to our best and nothing less. If we call ourselves a captain or a cook or a bottle washer, please be the best cook. The best captain, the best bottle washer. Whatever you choose to do, whatever you engage in, must do it the best. And that is the type of ruler we had as the exemplars. And for us in this life to follow as well. He had his ministers, he alone didn't rule, he had five of them, and they counseled the king wisely. And with their assistance, the king ruled over the country. Because he was able to always take advice from those who are qualified in the particular areas. And similarly, for us to be the king of our own lives, we must be able to appoint a point advisors but what type of advisors and who advise we must be very very careful in all aspects that we seek advice for so he ruled he listened to the council and he ruled wisely in accordance with dharma as we reminded ourselves last night, Lord Ganesh himself reminded us. He says, I manifest for dharma. In a nutshell, right? Not for some and then for some others he doesn't manifest. He manifests wherever there is dharma. So leaders and you as a leader in your own right, leading yourself. You must adhere to dharma. That is what will keep you grounded. And in its absence, well, any number could play if dharma is absent. And we know that. The emperor, Som Kant, also had a beautiful and virtuous Rani, a queen. And her, her name was Sudharma. In fact, the name also describes one who is great in Dharma, one who follows Dharma, one who is a good example to follow as a woman. Even... The celestial damsels in the heavens, the apsaras they are called, right? The apsaras, the heavenly celestial dancers, they envied Sudharma's beauty. 
She was a chaste and pure, dedicated woman and followed her husband in practicing dharma like the shadow following a person. In other words, they are inseparable. It don't mean one less than one, you know? Because that is what ladies go to want to tell me all kind of thing, you know? I is the shadow, Baba. I have my own shadow. <laughs> that is the first thing they're going to say. No, no, no. You must be joined together like that. Yes, but the shadow is not you and you is not the shadow. Everybody must maintain their own individuality because everyone is unique. Something? So that is, in a nutshell, what a couple should be. Because as Hindus, we have adopted the Western style. You know, and the Western style is not our style. Because when we do vivasanskar, you know, dharma, there's no room for divorce. There's only room for death. And that finality. Not divorce, only debt. Samjhe? But we have picked up. So there are more divorces than marriages now. And divorces take place faster than it took to prepare for the marriage in the first place. So sad. But we must learn to go back to these things because the basic unit of society is the family the nuclear family husband wife and who children if you don't have no husband and wife you have no children and if you have no children you have no continuity of the human race to start with Continuing this beautiful experience of life. And also understanding the legacy that we are leaving. All of this. Instead, we are killing ourselves as human beings when we do these things. Because less and less people understand the importance of marriage to start with. Because it is the, in our culture, the single, the smallest part of society is that family unit. In Western society, the smallest part of society, Pandit Neil, is who? The individual. What contribution really do individuals make to society, really? You ever ask yourself that? Those who are unmarried? What real, the only contribution most of the time they make is to them? Selves. I can remember when I was a little boy and it was time for, they to make, for me to make the decision on who I will accept to give me Jane and be my guru. I offered, in fact, I proffered some names to Pandit Mahesh and my father, Pandit Sharma. And some names were rejected immediately before I could even say the whole name. You know why? Because they say a guru, especially your guru, a guru should be married. Samjhe? And especially for your girl children. A guru should be married. Samjhe? And I had to change and make my choices accordingly, according to that type of advice. Because you can't teach people things that you don't know and experience as a guru. Or you could tell me how to be a good husband. But you are single and flying high.
That shouldn't be. That is not our culture. And then we know that the morals are a little looser in this age as well. From all sides, from the female and male side. Because even as pundits, pending pundits get challenges for that as well. And they get false accusations many a times about that as well. Because we have lost respect for the institution of marriage. Which is the basic unit. And most, according to the ashramas, Brahmachar, Grihast, San, Van Prasht and Sanyas, the most important or the thing that keeps the, the wheel moving is the Grihasasram Dharma. Because it's only when you get married, you start to get a little more serious about your own life too, to start with. And when you get serious, you mean you have to earn a little more income. And the more income you earn is the more what you pay. Tax you pay. And tax is the contribution to society. Correct? For society to move. Not the direction you want it many a times, but move in some direction. That is another story as well. With the wrong leadership. The wrong trust we put in people. And I'm not talking about the government alone. I'm talking about all governments. <clears throat> so this institution, Vivasanskar, we have to come back to understanding that is what keeps society moving and you must never, as a single person, denounce it. And say, me doing that now? And then some of them marry and then me want no children, their baggage. If your mother and father you think about that when, when time they make you, what would have happened? Hmm. You see how much little things from this little katha here already? Because these are the things we must be able, and as a pundit, I should pinpoint these little things because as pundits, we learn to read what? In between the lines, even of the scripture. Because we have to make it worthwhile, not only pleasing to the air like a story. Because there are many pundits now who, who, are, who are, you know, storytellers, I call them. Because they don't bring out the meaning. And some of them are afraid to bring out these things. Because they don't want to mash any tools. But we have to be real. Because Ganesh Baba is about wisdom. And how we operate. How we live our lives. So, Sudharma and Somkant were a wonderful couple. And of course, a wonderful couple it is expected that they will bring forth children. And they had a wonderful, powerful, and handsome son by the name of Him Khant. Thus, with a happy family, this benevolent king ruled, ruled over Saurastra, bringing peace and prosperity to his people. And that is what leaders should ought to do. Bring peace and prosperity. And if they are not doing that, they are misleaders. So after many years, age passed. And Somkant, with age, and also because of disease, because that is how it goes. Remember, none of us here to, to make stone, as they say. Right? All of us have to go, some of us sooner, some of us later. What preparations you make here in life about that is important. So, in his old age, Soom can't develop. In fact, he contracted leprosy. We know that disease, right? Leprosy. And indeed, leprosy is really not a nice illness. No illness is nice. 
Because his body was filled now with wounds and pus formations and bleeding all the time. In, indeed, Somkan was in grief. And he made that decision at that time. He says, O ministers, he called his, his five ministers and he says, O ministers, I do not have health. What is the use of wealth? Or palace? All my beauty, fortitude, benevolence, and powers have come to an end. I know this is the result of whatever bad karmas I have performed as well. And I have no blame for anyone. I alone have to suffer this. And therefore, I am coronating my son as king. And I will go to the forest to seek shelter with Bhagwan. Of course, everyone was dejected hearing that news. Just like when they heard the news like Lord Ram was going for the 14 years. How are you? They was plunged in grief. But now, sometimes when we... I see people rejoice when good people are separated from them. And instead of... And while throwing away what is called the Paras money, they pick up a shiny piece of glass that have no real value. Samjhe? And plenty of people doing that now. And they feel him is the brightest, biggest people in the world. <laughs> because they don't admit their incapacities and their, 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 their inabilities at certain times in life. So he made this decision and of course everyone is despondent. But he is saying I will coronate my son and go. And he also instructed them, you all should assist our son him can't. As he's installed Yuvraj. You should serve. And then he told him Kant. You should serve the country with Dharma. Following my example. And of course. Him Kant said. Oh divine parents. I cannot live here without you. Just as a lamp cannot be lit without oil, just as the body without breath, this kingdom will die without your presence. The king consoled them saying, once as you follow God's dharma and discharge the duties of a king properly, you need not worry my son. But there's a special instruction I want to leave with you tonight. And it will guarantee your success at all times. Pratar namami gananatham esha hetam brahmadi dev varadam sakala akama Agamadyam Dharma Artha Kam Paladam Bhavamoksh Hetam Vacham Agucharan Anadim Anantarupam These instructions were given to him, Khan. My dear son, get up early every morning. At the auspicious time called Brahma Muhurt. That is the best time for meditation. After the elimination and cleansing of your body, take a bath and put on clean clothes and enter your shrine. Sit in Padma Asan, the lotus posture, or any other comfortable posture. In an upright position. 
meditate on the Guru and Ganesh first. Then offer your prayer to a family deity and Mother Earth. And this special prayer, I'm going to teach you, my son. Learn it and recite it every morning. And in this prayer, first he prays to Lord Ganesh, then to Mahavishnu, then to Lord Shiva, then to Surya Narayan, and then to Girijama. The Panch Lokpal Devtas, as we spoke last night, in all our worship, we must remember Lord Ganesh, Durgama, Shiva, Surya, and Lord Vishnu. All the time. So now the mantra is important, what he uses, but we must remember in all worship, when we start our day, and whatever time we do our Sandhya, make sure we always honor these five devotees. And the other devotees as well accordingly. But these five are, I like to say compulsory. Because it is. Not one bigger than the next like we said last night. All of these devotees, these five devotees, they are also the devotees which give the power to the elements, each of them. Each element is controlled by each devta as well and everything in the cosmos. So may we remember as well to start with Lord Ganesh or morning with Go Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, Surya Narayan and Durga Ma. All will be bell and of course your Guru. Ganapati Ganesh Bhagwan Ki Jai. So We glorify Lord Ganesh in this kirtan. And then we'll do our RT. Ganapati Ganesh ko, Ganapati Ganesh ko, Umapati Mahesh ko, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam lo. Ganapati Ganesh ko, Ganapati Ganesh ko, Umapati Mahesh ko, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam. Ganapati Ganesh ko, Ganapati Ganesh ko, Umapati Mahesh ko, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam. Shankar Bhole Baba ko, Shankar Bhole Baba ko, Damur Bajane Wale ko, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam. Shankar Bhole Baba ko, Shankar Bhole Baba ko, Damur Bajane Wale ko, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam. Siya Pati Ram ko, Siya Pati Ram ko, Radha Ji ne Shaam ko, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam. Siya Pati Ram ko, Siya Pati Ram ko, Radha Ji ne Shaam ko, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam. Ganapati Ganesh ko, Ganapati Ganesh ko, Umapati Mahesh ko, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam, Mera hi pranam hai, Mera hi pranam. So may we always bow at the feet of Ganesh Baba. More we bow to him, the more guaranteed we are of his blessings. We all join in RT now. Jay, let us all stand, please. 
जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश देवा माता जा की पार्वती पिता महादेवा गणपति देवा गणपति देवा बोलो गणपति देवा जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश देवा माता जा की पार्वती पिता महादेवा गणपति देवा In class of hands, close our eyes. May Bhagwan's blessings be with you at all times. May all the devtas and devis shine brightly in your lives. Beautiful blessings of betterment, of success, of greatness. Until we meet again, Prabhu, we love you. Om Mantra Hinam Kriya Hinam Bhakti Hinam Janardanam Yad Pujitam Mayadevam Paripuranam Tadasthane Om Tvameva Matas Chapita Tvameva Tvameva Bandhus Chasakha Tvameva Tvameva Vidya Dravinam Tvameva Tvameva Sarva Mama Deva Deva Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Hari Om Tat Sat Hari Om Tat Sat Siddhi Vinayak Ganapati Ganesh Bhagwan Ki Jai Satya Sanatam Dharma Ki Jai Dharma Rakshate Rakshata Has You Protect Your Dharma Your Dharma Will Always Protect You Sab Koi Jai Jai Sita Ram Mangalam
Please note that during the Ganesh Utsav period, there will be a change to the airing times of Dharma Kshetra. On Sunday 12th September and Sunday 19th September, Dharma Chetra will air from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Dharma Chetra will return to its regular time of 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. from Sunday 26th September. Sangya Television is not only the first in the TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, but Sangya TV also has the most coverage. You can find